How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Nasty Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. A little bit of collaboration time in the form of a bunch of breweries. I'll read them off the label because I'll probably screw them up if I don't. <laughs> it's their Irma IPA. Um, like I said, uh, it's a collaboration IPA, as you would guess. Uh, Irma, Hurricane Irma, just hit Florida. These are a bunch of Florida, Florida breweries that collaborated. It's spearheaded by Civil Society Brewing. And it says collaboration with Twisted Trunk Brewing, Takista Brewing, and Copper Point Brewing. Um, and like I said, it's an IPA called Irma. Why Irma? Well, one, because of the hurricane. And two, they kind of synced it up with the hops they're using. They're using Idaho 7, Rakao, Mosaic, and Amarillo. So, uh, yeah. Super excited to give it a whirl. Four-way collab. All the proceeds benefit Irma relief efforts in Florida. So that in itself is pretty cool. It was sent to me by Ralph. Uh, Florida Ralph, he's been throwing beers at me like a madman, so this is one that just landed actually today, and I just kind of wanted to give it a whirl. It's nice and cold, been sitting for a bit, so let's dive into it. Uh, let's see, Irma, Idaho 7, Raku, uh, Mosaic, Amarillo IPA, 6.7% alcohol by volume, uh, working together to help community in the pale ale, and we have more in common than that which would divide us. Um, and label-wise, it is killer. I like everything... From the kind of Florida down here with the hands kind of around it to the kind of way the front is drawn to everything about it. I dig it. We're off to a really good start with this one. Let's give it a pop, see what she's got. There we go. Let's do the old salad pour. I kind of like me the salad pour. I might make that more of a staple. You know, something about it I kind of dig. Um, first and first, the amount of citrus fruited juiciness coming off this is absolutely insane. I mean, from the pour till now, it's just kind of wafting into my face. Um, two fingers, nice, almost infinitely creamy head to it. Nice uniform bubbles throughout. And she's got that kind of nice, pretty... Not super hazy, but not under hazy kind of thing going on. You can lean a little bit of light through it. You hold it up to light, you can definitely see, see through it. But uh, yeah, a bit of carbonation going on, but nothing too crazy. Soft golden in color. Does she look like an IPA? Yes. Does she look like an Owen style IPA? No. Why do I bring it up? That's what Civil Society's beers pretty much have been. Sans their collaborations. Again, this is one that's a collaboration. So we'll see what happens. Let's see if we can get a nose on her. Man, that is straight up oranges. And not orange juice, it's oranges. It's like, just like you're cracking, you dug in to an orange and cracked it straight open. Um, you know what I mean? Just tore at it where you're getting spritz of the juice and spritz of the kind of rindiness and, and pithiness. And the whole nine is just kind of wafting into your face. That's exactly what you get here nose-wise. Big, huge, bright citrus. Florida. It's Florida. When, you know, you think of any fruit, you think of oranges. That's what you think of when you think of Florida. And that's what you're getting here is just those big, bright, rich, delicious kind of Florida oranges. There's a sweetness in there, but it's not overly sweet. There's a little bit of kind of like subtly kind of pithy kind of bittering floating around there. But it's straight up oranges. As it should be. So, I'm just going to dive in see what she's got. Cheers. Oh, that's a good beer. No date on this can for you Nazis out there. But, I mean, it is fresh. You know, I, I, it had to have just landed or been made over the past week or two. Um, so to take that for whatever it's worth. But, yeah, I mean, you're getting such a beautiful amount of orange in this. With the perfect amount of kind of bittering. Bittering comes off a little tomato stocky. The orange comes off like fresh cracked open orange like I talked about with the nose. It's a sweetness there, but it's definitely in check with the bitterness. Really nice mouthfeel, not some of the crazy, huge, thick, dense, turgid kind of craziness that was a lot of what uh, the other civil society beers that I had were like. This is a banging, banging, awesome. IPA. Is it a New England IPA? No. That still means it can be awesome. And this one's absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is just your classy 
East Coast with a bit of new school influence, new school hop, kind of just awesome IPA. From mouthfeel to the balance of the sweetness and bitterness to the way it delivers that orange, it comes off. I mean, you couldn't pick a better beer for this effort. I mean, you know, the, all the proceeds are going to the Irma Relief Fund. That of itself is a cool thing, but to actually... It had to think about this. They had to want to make these flavors come out of this beer because they probably said, okay, how can we make this as florid as we possibly can? I don't know. What, you put a greasy-haired like dude wearing a white suit and a pink shirt and, and a Corvette in there? I don't know. Um, you know what I mean? Maybe, I don't know. Make their sports team suck except for basketball every now and then? I don't know. I'm a Dolphins fan, so I'm allowed to say that. I mean, the only other way, the only way to make it quintessentially Florida is to make it not just come off orangey, because orange can come off a lot of different ways. You can come off like kind of like candied juicy, as everybody goes for nowadays. You can come off kind of candied extracty, like a lot of your kind of middle of the road big crap breweries tend to come off. Or you can come off just pure straight up cracking into an orange, and that's what you're getting in here. And it just makes so much sense. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Oranges in a glass and fresh oranges. A little bit of that bitterness, nice sweetness, balance it off, and a really nice balance for, for what it is and what it should be. Uh, value, uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better IPAs I've had as of late? Absolutely. It just is that good and drinks that nice. Uh, value and availability, don't know. Um, you know, I don't know if it's just being sold at Civil Society, if all these breweries are doing it, if it's shelfy, I don't know. I'm sure Ralph or somebody else will chime in on that. How much it costs, same thing, and just say if you like what we like this. If you like oranges, if you like well-made beer, if you like well-made balanced beer, if you like breweries that are trying to do the right thing, and if you just like good beer made by apparently really good people. You know, it's kind of one of those things where it's kind of like a weird world to live in. Um, like I said, I did a bunch of civil society reviews before this. I don't feel like I lambasted them or, or roasted them too much, but I definitely wasn't glowing through their reviews. And some people can look at that and view me as just kind of poop when went on a brewery and kind of being a jerk. And, you know, for whatever it's worth or whatever it means, I just kind of say what I believe. Do you know what I mean? And, and say what, I, I'm honest, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pull punches. Um, so many, not just beer reviewers on YouTube, but, you know, um, you know, beer writers and beer comments just suck so much dick and everything's always positive and everything's always good and everything's always great. And they, and even when they get critical, they tend to be, you know, very, very kids glovesy when it comes to that. And I just can't be like that. Do you know what I mean? I have to be kind of true to whatever my brain says. It's a fault, not just in beer review, but my life. I tend to be that way with everything. Um, so you never, never want to kind of jump down a brewery throat or kind of poop on them. But, uh, you know, I wasn't, the most glowing of uh, reviewers when it came to the civil society stuff that I had. The cl the collaboration stuff, I was much more in tune with, specifically the cocktail one they did. Uh, but this one is by far and away the best one that I've had from them. Um, their name is on it. They're leading the charge on this one. So kudos to you guys. And that makes me feel fucking really awesome that they made a beer like this because this is the shit that I want. I understand in New England, haze is what everybody wants, but this is just really good beer, and you can tell it's just made with heart. These people give a shit. They're giving money to the community. They give a shit. This beer tastes like they gave a shit, and that's what I want to taste in beer. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hope the guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, didn't, anywhere in between, down there, words and stuff and things. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, all four of those places if you want to check this dude out somewhere else. And Yeah, another review down, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a beautifully made beer with heart. That's thoughtful right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.